Well, just as important as what you do in the water is how you get out of it. This week, Ray and Mandy show you how to properly finish your day at the lake. Today we're going to talk about the proper way to clean up your boat and your trailer and get the water out of your boat system before you leave the lake to meet the state requirements to help prevent aquatic invasive species, which means plant life and zebra mussels. First thing is make sure you've got everything off the trailer, all the vegetation off the trailer, and then Mandy's going to pick it up there and talk about things that need to be done to the boat. Absolutely, let's go to the back of the boat and we'll take a look back here. Two things in the back of the boat that are really important. One, obviously, is remember to pull that plug. And two, make sure you drop that motor to give ample time to let the water drain out of the lower unit. All right, so we've got the plug pulled, we've got the motor dropped, we've got the water drain out of the lower unit. Next step, obviously, is to jump in and let's clean those live wells. So for me personally, I always carry a big sponge. It's really important. As you guys will see, there's always a little bit of water down in here that just doesn't quite want to drain out. Maybe a little bit of veg, crayfish leftovers from your live well, from your catch of the day. Really make sure that you get down in there good and wipe all of this out and keep sponging it out until your live well is completely dry. It's not a bad idea either to carry a bottle of water with you just to give it one final flush of clean water before you hit the road. For Lake La News, I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.